Good morning. This is the virtual assembly for S4, 5 and 6 on Thursday the 10th of December. Obviously, the, the topic on everyone's minds just now is the Deputy First Minister's announcement where um, higher and advanced higher exams have been cancelled for this coming session, and that includes the previous announcement regarding National 5 exams, which means there are cohorts of young people who will never have completed a final SQA exam in, the, in those conditions. The alternative to um, coming to the eventuality of grades is that estimates will be produced um, and initial results will be produced by schools and by individual teachers. The key thing to, to understand is that teachers will let people know what the key pieces of evidence that, go, that are going to be used to determine those initial results and also what other supporting evidence may be used as well. So you will be made aware as young people as to what is really important and what is maybe not so important for you at this time. It's reassuring to know that the decision has been taken that no algorithm will be used by the SQA, but there will be moderation and verification of the national standards across the country, and that makes a huge amount of sense. Um, and this will confirm the initial results awarded by teachers and grades will therefore be agreed and um, reached by school and the SQA together. Um, the results in August will still be the same as, as normal. So that brings us to the assessment block in, in January. As you'll be aware, we can't run prelims as we might have done in the past with large numbers of young people gathering in, in huge spaces. So there will be a timetable of classroom assessments during the month of January from Monday the 11th, which is the second week back, to Wednesday the 27th of January. And we've spaced those assessments out over two and, and a bit weeks so that the maximum number of assessments that you would have on any one day is two. That would be the max. Assessments will be mostly, the vast majority of them, will be timetabled in double periods during your normal class time. So during usual class time, but under strict SQA exam conditions, if we do that, we can therefore use your assessment evidence for our predicted, um, for our initial grades. Um, so we need to abide by the strict exam conditions. Now, in this case, when you're in classrooms, your bags will be at the front. We obviously can't leave bags out in corridors for trip hazards, but your phones, you'll be asked to switch off your phones and keep them in your bags. Um, and, and as ever, in any year, SQA consequences will follow if any of the rules are breached. Now, a schedule has been issued to parents this week, and we are looking at how we can refine that schedule a little bit more, um, and we'll give you more information on that. The SQA assessment conditions are here. I've just posted them up on this slide straight from the SQA, and um, if you want to look at this um, in, in, at a later date with your parents, but it's just the usual things about not pretending to be a different person, not being disruptive in the assessment room, not using any um, abusive or offensive language in your answers um, as you're doing your assessments, not copying, obviously, avoiding collusion, um, and different things about not, don't use a calculator in a non-calculator paper, etc. plagiarism as well. So it's just the usual regulations that we would expect of you in any exam condition or assessment condition circumstance. So the January assessment block, the whole purpose of doing this assessment block is to gather evidence under strict exam conditions so we can use that evidence for your initial grades. For National 5 higher and advanced higher courses, as already stated, we can't have traditional prelims, but because there are no exams in the future, um, as a result of coronavirus restrictions this year. So SQA will again be asking schools for estimate initial grades for all our learners and we'll have clear guidelines that these estimates must be based on two or four pieces of evidence. And this 
doing this assessment block, uh, another main purpose of it is to gauge your progress and inform next steps for your learning to prepare you and to prepare that evidence in the best possible way we can to give you the best possible chance of getting the best possible grade. So the key message here that your class tests and your assessments are important just now. Um, they are evidence, they'll be used for your initial grades. So it is important that you give of your personal best when you are undertaking these assessments. So on a lighter note, um, on Friday this week, tomorrow, we'll have a, a dress down day. And if you wish, you can wear a Christmas jumper tomorrow if you have one. Dress down being casual clothes, but also appropriate clothes for school. Now this year, rather than collecting money for Save the Children, we are asking you to bring a non-perishable item for the Ellen Community Food Bank. And that can be things like tins of food, things that won't go off, rice, pasta, bottles of squash, that kind of thing. Um, and the collections will be at the pupil and reception doors on arrival. And we'd just like to thank you in advance for those who uh, participate in helping others in our community. On the last day of term, Friday the 18th of December, is the day where we traditionally have our um, it's a dress down day, but you can also dress up. Um, and this is quite a highlight in the calendar, particularly for the sixth year, who tend to go to a lot of effort in dressing up, um, albeit appropriately, for um, the last day of term. So we look forward to seeing, seeing you, those that choose to dress up, and as I said, come casually, come as you please. Um, appropriate for school if you're not dressing up on the last day of term. Just a final note about um, we've had, obviously, everybody's aware that we've had two new positive cases of coronavirus um, attached to the school community. And it's even more vital just now that we all stick to the mitigations, the rules, the regulations, wearing your face covering, washing and sanitising your hands and keeping a social distance from others as much as you possibly can. Um, there is a vaccine, it's, it's beginning to be rolled out, but we can't be complacent. We must stick to these mitigations so that we keep everybody in our school community safe and our warmest wishes go to the families affected by this at this current time. Thank you.